Super Smash Bros is extremely fun to play. No character has intrigued me more than Kirby. Similarly to the Ice Climbers in Smash Bros Brawl, he has the optional move to breathe ice, or more so, very cold air particles that freeze what they touch. So how cold is Kirby's ice breath, and how cold are the Ice Climbers chilly moves? Before I show you the massively simplified and fully expanded equation used to solve for this, I'll just start by saying that this is extremely awesome. The answer is amazingly massive, and I'd suggest you stick around to watch. So without further ado, this is the overwhelmingly complex equation a Reddit user and I derived. Holy barnyard animal responsible for producing worldwide lactose. This is ridiculously intense. I'll go slow. And fill them in easily bit by bit. I tested Kirby's ice breath in Smash Bros 4 on Little Mac. Since Smash Bros isn't to scale with its characters, we need to assume some realistic measurements. We'll need to assume that Little Mac is 5 feet tall and that Kirby is 4. Also, for realistic proportions, Little Mac would be about 150 pounds. So using these numbers, what can we fill in? Well, let's review what variables we need. M sub H is Little Mac's mass. C sub H is the specific heat capacity of a human. T sub FH is the minimum temperature for ice. T sub IH is the average heat of the human body. R sub 1 is the radius of the bottom of the cone-shaped ice surrounding the frozen person. H is the height of that cone. Capital D is the density of ice. C sub I is the specific heat capacity of ice. T sub FI is the minimum temperature of ice. T sub II is room temperature. R sub 2 is half the diameter of the area on Little Mac that Kirby is affecting. P is the density of air. Lowercase d is how far away Kirby is from Little Mac. L is the specific latent heat of fusion of the ice. C sub B is the specific heat capacity of air. T sub FB is the minimum temperature for ice for the third time. And finally, T sub IB is the temperature of the icy beam being shot from Kirby. And that is what we need to find out. We can fill in M sub H with little max mass. The 150 pounds converts to around 68.18 kilograms. The specific heat capacity of a human, or the human resistance to certain temperatures, is around 3,470 joules per kilogram Celsius. The average density of air is 1.2 kilograms per cubic meter. The average density of ice is 999.87 kilograms per cubic meter. And ice freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. Already, that knocks out a bunch of the variables. During my calculations, Kirby was a foot away from Little Mac, so the lowercase d is around 0.30303 meters. Comparing some more, Kirby's icy breath affected about 4 feet of the 5 feet Little Mac. So I divided by 2 and converting to metric gives us radius 2 to be about 0.61 meters. The cone of the ice was Little Mac's height, and its width was double Little Mac's height. Now we have all of these filled in. Room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, the average human is 37 degrees Celsius, and the total chunk of ice will result in at least 0 degrees Celsius, thus knocking out T sub FB and leaving us only with a few left. The specific latent heat of fusion is the energy required for a solid liquid phase change. For ice, it's typically 334 kilojoules per kilogram. Swapping units and putting it in leaves us with two. The specific heat capacity of ice is roughly 2050. And finally, the specific heat capacity of air is 1010 joules per kilogram Celsius. Compressing the equation into designated formulas, swapping various mass values for maximum accuracy, and calculating gives us... Okay, okay, drumroll requirement. Okay, that wasn't what I was going for, but I guess anything goes in a video analyzing Kirby's beam of icy air, and it is around... Well, negative 361,671.98 degrees Celsius, or negative 650,977.56 degrees Fahrenheit. This number could vary in hundreds of degrees up or down, but this is where it averagely sits. Yes, that's crazy. 
yes, that would instantaneously freeze Little Mac and likely shatter him. And yes, the inverse square law states that if you were 190 meters away, you'd still feel about negative 10 degrees Celsius. Lesson learned. Do not allow yourself exposure to any form of Kirby or the Ice Climbers in Smash Bros games, because whether Kirby's sucking at nearly 10 kilometers an hour or is devastatingly whacking you with his hammer, your life will be at the hands of this all-powerful Marshmallow and or the Ice Climbers. Until next time, I'm the Theorizer, 